arcade heroes. Hey, it's Adam with ArcadeHeroes.com, and with my latest arcade unboxing and installation, I've got Space Warp 66 by Touch Magics. This came from Fun Company. Unfortunately, it looks like the carriers. Uh, they did the weirdest thing, I've never seen this before, where on their truck they laid the game down flat on the pallet like this, and so it seems to have damaged the box. From the looks of it, it doesn't appear to have damaged the game. I hope not. I won't know for sure until I get it all unpacked, but of course that's one thing I hate about deliveries like this. They just want you to sign and leave before you can really check it. Let's, uh, let's get unboxing. Linux. Might need to go get the uh, hand truck and prop it up. So where's the keyboard at? Uh, right here. So it was intentional to come with the keyboard. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. I guess we better keep it inside. Okay, so um, had a little bit 
bit of a stumble really quick, but figured it out. So the game comes with a wireless Logitech keyboard, and I'm probably one of the very few out there that's not wanting to use this on tickets. This is was primarily designed as a ticket game, but uh, when I went to the endless mode settings, it had all these things locked, and endless mode didn't say yes or no. It just said endless mode, but anything I push, nothing would happen. So. Um, in looking at it, I figured out that if you do restore default, which is really fast, then I went, I did that, and then I came back here, and then suddenly it showed endless mode, yes or no. And so um, I already informed Touch Magics about it, so I'm sure that'll something that might be corrected, or might have just been a glitch with mine, not sure, but no big deal at all. So uh, here's the gameplay menu, which you access using that keyboard and I mean where endless mode wasn't how it was originally designed there's not a whole lot to change there All right. so let's take a look at the innards here really quick it comes with an electronic point there, but in the manual which I got electronically from touch magics they said that this hole here can be replaced so or this ticket door, or sorry, this coin door here can be replaced with a standard Suzo half coin door. And we got our coin buckets, we've got our subwoofer there and volume controls, and then we've got our PC and IO board hardware, which the manual does mention things for making adjustments for stuff like uh, card reader and tickets and stuff. Like if, if you do a card reader, they suggest it goes there. set it a little further back for the camera to show the control and the screen so maybe I'll do a play where you can see it like this and then I'll be a little more up close but when it is an endless mode it, instead of talking instead of mentioning anything about tickets it just mentions the high scores up there and there's, so there's a daily high score which I could set in the endless mode settings uh, like just like a goal to beat for every day and then it has an all-time setting. I also believe it has a weekly one. There's also a bar mode where it can print out one or two tickets, which can be redeemed for something at the bar, like a drink or something. So let's get to it. placing the game where it's at is this game doesn't have any wind blowers but with where it's between uh, the backs of two games of Jurassic Park and The Walking Dead it feels 
like you got wind blowing at you while you uh, while you play, which makes it a little bit more immersive. Let's see the favor the lower sides. On. Very easy install overall. And love the animations on the LEDs. I wish more of the games that had LEDs on them did a little bit of animation. Some of them did, uh, but not all the time. Of course, you don't want to go too overboard with some of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's better than just spawn or just changing colors once in a while. Anyways, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. And what will I unbox next? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. So don't have anything else that I plan on uh, purchasing anytime soon. So uh, yeah. Thanks. Again, thanks for watching. See you around.